Matthew 11, Genesis 31 to 33, Jacob and Esau reconciled 20 years later. Jacob, who left his 20-year life in Haran and returned to Canaan, met with Esau safely with the grace of God and was reconciled with his brother. First point. Jacob, who fled Canaan 20 years ago, had to once again flee from Haran. Jacob ran to Haran away from his brother Isa. What was supposed to be a temporary stay stretched out to 20 years. But when Laban's sons saw that Jacob had become wealthy, they acted as if Jacob had stolen Laban's wealth from him. Even Laban started to treat Jacob differently. But around that point, God told Jacob to return to Canaan. When Jacob sensed the trouble, he decided to return to Canaan. Just as he did 20 years ago, Jacob once again decided to flee from his situation. When Laban found out about this, he naturally went after Jacob. But God appeared to Laban and told him to differentiate between the good and the bad. God protected Jacob against Laban by enabling Jacob to go his way and have Laban bless Jacob instead of causing harm. Second point, Jacob feared to meet his brother Isa again after 20 years. Despite Jacob living away from Isa for 20 years, he was nevertheless still afraid. Jacob's fear was based on a memory 20 years ago when his brother Isa tried to kill him. That memory was still vividly living in Jacob's head. But to heighten his fear even more, Jacob heard some disturbing news. It was that Isa was on his way to meet him with 400 men. It turned out that his brother had become a strong tribe leader and was on his way to greet Jacob with a gracious attitude. But Jacob, who did not know the change in Isa's attitude, only remembered that his brother had tried to kill him. Even after sending such rubbish gifts, Jacob was still afraid that he was unable to sleep and even asked for the blessing of an angel in the middle of their wrestle. An interesting fact is that the feud which began with Jacob's greed for the first one right turned out with Jacob serving his brother with gifts and acknowledgement. Third point, in the food of Zapho, one man's name becomes the name of a country Israel. Jacob's name meant holding on to the tip of the feet. The meaning of the name was not so present, and so God changed Jacob's name to Israel. The name Israel means someone who won wrestling with God, and it also means someone who is loved by God. After some time, Israel became one nation divided into two states, and for a time, they were called North Israel and South Judah. Despite this, even today, Israel is called Israel. Fourth point. After 20 years, Jacob reconciles with his brother Isa. God prepared a table of reconciliation for Jacob and Isa after 20 years. As such, God always prepares a table of reconciliation from humans. First, God prepared a table of reconciliation between Isaac and Ishmael during Abraham's funeral. Second, between Jacob and his uncle Laban. Third, between Jacob and Isa. Fourth, between Joseph and his brothers. Fifth, between the people of North Israel and South Judah 
who had become a mixed race due to the management under the Assyrian Empire. This reconciliation was made by Jesus after 900 years since the division. Six, through Jesus' cross, there was the ultimate table of reconciliation between the entire human race and God. Fifth point, Canaan was the land God showed Abraham, and this became Jacob's homeland. But Jacob, after 20 years, returned to his homeland Canaan. The land of Canaan, which God showed to Abraham, was the holy land. The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. After Abraham and Isaac's time for Jacob, Canaan had become his beloved hometown. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.